Hi, this is Dana Watts for our EDL 661 class. Um, I just wanted to uh, briefly talk about blogging in general before I started about the blogs that have had a bunch of influence on me. Um, I started blogging in 2009 and my blog is just through Blogger, um, which is through Google. And so through there I started uh, an RSS uh, through Google Reader. I have my RSS feeds coming in through here. And so they go through, and I find some amazing things to read through here. Um, but one thing um, that helps me a lot with blogging and keeping up with all my blogs, um, and it might help um, some other members of our class, is I use something called NetVibes as a way to really look at, um, I keep track of all the different blogs of my students. So this is one class that I teach, and I can go through and see if there's anything new. So for example, this student here just posted something 19 hours uh, 19 hours ago, and I can click on that and read it through here. And I divide all my classes through the top. But you could also do this um, to set up you know, blogs on just education, blogs on leadership, blogs on you know, particular interest of study, or something like that. So that's another alternative to Google Reader that um, you might be interested in. Okay, the first blog I'm going to look at is by Kim Cofino. Um, she's a colleague of mine from when I used to teach in Bangkok, and um, she is really my mentor. Um, I look to her all the time because she really shares her learning experience and constantly gives back to the community that she's learned so much from. Um, for instance, um, this is on um, Orientation 2.0, and she goes through and discusses everything they did at the start of the school year, um, and this is our second year into their one-to-one -one program. What I love about this particular blog is that these are all individual links to additional resources within the blog. And so, for instance, um, I clicked on um, her Connected Learning Community Parent Orientation presentation, and from there, it gave me tons of ideas of something to do with our parents at my school, um, at actually our next parent uh, coffee. And then from there, um, there also is a video, and this is a great video on Vimeo um, that she had her students create on what they wish they knew about their one-to-one -one program, um, before you know, and like lessons that the kids have learned throughout the school year for the new students coming into the program. Um, so this is one of my favorites and um, a go-to on a regular basis. Additionally, um, Intrepid Teacher is put out by Jabiz Razina, and um, his blog really pushes my thinking sometimes. Um, and what I like is I don't always agree with what Jabiz says, and so it pushes me to think in other ways and pushes me outside of my comfort zone, which I really enjoy. This particular um, blog post is about the table and having kids blog and start to talk and opening up your classroom um, in, and so that it's not just within the normal schedule of a school day, but goes longer and students can continue to have discussions outside of class. Um, I love the fact that Jabi says that one of his goals for this year, and this is he's starting a brand new job this year, and he states to teach less, to talk less, instruct less, and deliver content less. Um, and then he goes on to say, you know, why? Because he wants to guide more and listen more and give more voice to his students. But I think um, that's a pretty powerful thing to say when you're brand new at a new school, to say I plan on teaching less and um, giving kids a chance to um, own their learning. Um, and so from there, another one of my favorites would be G George Chorus. He's um, really, really fun um, to listen to as a speaker, but he's a principal and um, he has some great title, like I'm the um, uh, I'm the principal of innovative teaching and learning, and um, but he talks about the same thing and really turning the voice over to the teachers and the experts within the room of your own school district, and I thought that that was really um, nice to hear a principal talk about the value of um, the teachers within their own school. Um, George really puts himself out there as a principal and talks about all the learning that's happening within his school and his school district and it's really uh, wonderful to see admin talking about different things they'd like to see within their own school. Uh, 
And finally, one of the things that I use a lot to find blogs and different people that I really want to read and exchange ideas with is via Twitter. And um, Twitter's kind of taken over my RSS uh, reader. Um, I used to rely on Google Reader for everything to get all the blogs. And now I really use TweetDeck. Um, I find different subjects that really matter to me. And then I go through and I search all the different areas and different things and so I'll follow different hashtags like EdChat or um, iPad Ed, iPad Chat, um, different groups and list services and um, it really helps me find blogs and people and, uh, that are talking about subjects that I'm really interested in as well. And um, I also started a small group within my school because to go back to what George Kuros was saying, um, it's really nice to be able to see what the, the people within your school are talking about. And um, I find different posts that different teachers are talking about and different interests of um, my colleagues. So I really recommend um, using TweetDeck and also NetVibes and Google Reader as a way to kind of uh, keep everything together and uh, and have a little bit of control of all the different things that you want to read in your life. Thank you.